Not sure how to stretch your relaxer? Are you having a hard time stretching your relaxer? Are you frustrated? Are you thinking about just cutting off all your hair? Trust me, I've been there. By the end of this video, you'll have my life-changing tips to reduce breakage and manage your new growth with ease. For the best relaxed hair tricks and tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click the bell so you're notified when I post a new video every week. So I completely forgot to introduce myself. Hey lovies, it's me Sharon. Welcome back to my channel. Um, just wanted to say hey, so let's jump back into the video. I am a hair enthusiast and I've been relaxed and natural, so I've been on both sides. I was natural for six years and I transitioned for a year. So during that time, I learned so much about relaxed and natural hair that it has allowed me to be able to stretch my relaxers past six months. And now it's your turn. Tip number one, deep conditioning. Deep conditioning is so, 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 so important in any hair care journey. I don't care if you're relaxed, if you're natural, deep conditioning is crucial. So deep conditioning is going to make your new growth soft, which is going to allow you to be able to manage, style, whatever you're gonna do to your hair, it's gonna allow the new growth to be soft for you to do whatever you need to do. Also, it's going to hydrate and moisturize your hair, which is amazing because when you're stretching your relaxer, your hair can tend to get dry and that's when you get breakage. So you don't want your hair to get dry. Dry hair equals breakage. So how we get rid of the dryness, you have to condition your hair. So I'm going to show you my current deep conditioner that I use now and it is the Maui Moisture Heal Plus Hydrate Plus Shea Butter Hair Mask for dry damaged hair. So this is what I'm using now. It's empty. I actually, I'm using the Agave um, hair mask now but I love, 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 love um, this line. So I love to deep condition every time I wash my hair, which is usually every two weeks, um, I do a deep condition and I am very generous with my deep conditioner. So I start at the root and I kind of like put it on there like I'm getting a relaxer. So I like to do my roots first and then I pull it all the way down to the tips, but I just make sure every strand is coated with the conditioner or the hair mask and I sit under the dryer sitting under the dryer is so important you have to sit under the dryer you need that heat so I sit under the dryer for about an hour with my deep conditioner and a plastic bag and I deep condition so that's every two weeks or whenever I wash my hair better believe it I'm going to be deep conditioning my hair for an hour I do have my relaxed hair wash day routine. I have a video, so go ahead and check that out. I do have helpful tips on washing and deep conditioning your hair. So tip number two is moisturizing daily. You wanna moisturize your hair daily, daily, daily. So what I like to do is when I take a shower, I like to let the steam from the shower soften and loosen up my hair i like my hair to get like kind of like a steam treatment um it gets some moisture a little water it's not wet but you know just from the steam so i like to get let the steam hit my hair and then after that i get out the shower and then i apply some type of a moisturizer so the moisturizer i'm using now is i have the can to daily moisturizer and so I put that on my tips of my hair and on my new growth, as well as I love to use oil. So the oil I use is olive oil, and um, I just use like a bottle, regular cooking olive oil, but this is for my hair. And I use this, and I apply it to my hair as well, my scalp, my new growth, my ends, just all over. And then another product I like to use is 
my Carol's Daughter Leave-In Conditioner. So I just like to spray this all over my hair as well and just massage all the products into my scalp and into my hair. So you just want to make sure you're moisturizing your hair daily. So either before you go to bed, you want to make sure you load up the oils, the moisturizer. You want to make sure you're wrapping your hair as well at night. Tip number three, protective styles. Gotta have protective style. So protective styles are so important when you are stretching. So we all know month one is a breeze. I'm wearing my hair down. I'm looking good. I'm, I'm loving my hair. I'm styling it in different ways. Month number two um, is starting to get thick. You know, it's starting to get thick, but you can still, you know, maybe put a little flat iron to it, put a little blow dryer to it, and you can still wear your hair out. You're loving it. It's thicker. You have more volume. So it's all good. I'm, I'm still doing my thing. I'm, I'm good. By month number three, we're starting to really feel it. We're starting to see the new growth. Your hair is thicker. You got those little ringlets, those little crimps at the roots and they're getting hard and tough and it's hard to manage at month number three. So what I do is I enjoy my hair for month one and month two. And then I know when month three comes around, it's time for a protective style. <laughs> so my go-to protective style for the most part is a bun. So I like to put my hair up in a high bun for a month three. Or I'll do like a half up, half down look with some clip-ins. It just depends, but for the most part, a bun because it's easy. You just put it up. It stays there. You don't have to do your hair every day. You don't have to put heat to it. And it's just a very simple style. So I'll do that for month three. But by the time month four comes, your hair has gotten thicker and thicker. And that's when it's time to, for me, braid up my hair. So I like to put cornrows in my hair and then I will wear a wig for month four. I love wearing wigs because it allows me to take care of my hair when I take off my wig at night as well as I can wash and condition my hair. So I'm still treating my hair but it is a protective style because I'm not messing with it every day. I'm not trying to style it. I'm not trying to comb it. Um, it's put away under my wig. So for month four, I wear a wig as well as five and six. You can choose different protective styles to wear. But for me, I my go-to is a wig. It just depends. You could do braids if you want for a month. Or you could do crochet. Whatever you want to do. So if you want to stretch your relaxer and you want to grow your hair, you have to know that there's a time to play. And there's a time to put up your hair in months. Four through six is definitely those months are when you put up your hair and you just take care of it, you let it rest, you let it grow. Tip number four. So another tip that goes along with what I was saying about protective styles is that you should have a schedule. You should have a schedule for your hair. Now to have a schedule, I would say take some time to get to know your hair. So you know when your hair tends to get dry, when it tends to need protein. So you got to get to know your hair. But when you get to know your hair, you'll have a set schedule. So for me, my schedule is month one and two. I wash my hair every two weeks. So every two weeks, I wash my hair with shampoo. And I also deep condition sit under the dryer for an hour and that is pretty much my routine of course we're going to moisturize um daily and all of that great stuff but for washing and conditioning i do that every two weeks for month one and two by the time i get to month three like i said i'm bunning it so it's pretty much stays the same as month one and two i'm still going to wash and condition um every two weeks by the time i get to month three I am not washing my hair every two weeks. It just depends on how I'm feeling, what I'm doing. Am I working out? Is my hair extra dirty? If not, I can go a whole month without washing my hair. 
to be quite honest because it's in cornrows I'm wearing a wig so I just let it sit I just make sure it's moisturized I have my oils in there I have my leave-in in there and I know that it's moisturized and being protected under my wigs but if I'm working out I am going to wash my hair every two weeks because you know you get sweaty it gets gross you want to wash your hair and during that time four months four to six I'm not using shampoo every time I wash my hair I will co-wash so it just depends on how I feel if I feel like my hair is extra dirty I'm going to use shampoo if I feel like I didn't do that much but I want to add moisture to my hair, I'm going to co-wash, meaning I'm just going to wash my hair with a conditioner and still do deep conditioning. So it just depends on how your hair is feeling, but I also have somewhat of a schedule. Tip number five. So now let's talk about styling tools. What kind of styling tools are you using while you are stretching your relaxer? So my favorite tool I use is a wide tooth comb. This is my best friend. This is how I detangle my hair. So detangling is probably the worst thing to do while you're stretching your relaxer because you have two textures and it's just a lot going on and you have to detangle so I use a wide tooth comb um, and this is my favorite tool to use so when you are detangling your hair you should start at the end so you want to start at the ends and then you want to work your way up to the root now if you get like into some tangles right here you just want to take your time and get that out before moving upwards towards the root so love, 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 love this. Also, you want to think about what kind of products are you using um, on your hair. So for me, I like to do sulfate free. I like to do paraben free. And that's why I love Maui moisture. It's silicone free, no paraben, no gluten, no SLS, no synthetic dyes. It's vegan, it's eco-friendly. It has pure coconut water and pure aloe juice so i love this line and so you want to make sure you're using the right products for your hair give this video a thumbs up if you want to see what products i use on my hair but you want to make sure you're using moisturizing products water-based products that are going to add moisture and soften your hair so you want to combine that with a great wide tooth comb i also would recommend um combing your hair or detangling your hair when you're in the shower that's when i do my detangling when i have the water running through my hair and it allows me to glide the comb through my hair easily and it also allows the tangles to fall out with the water i also want to try a dimming brush i know that natural girls mostly use a dimming brush i want to try it out let me know if any of you relaxed girls have tried the dimming brush Tip number six, simply leave your hair alone. Just leave your hair alone, let it be. You know how you have that urge, you're like, I should wash my hair, or I wanna do this look on my hair, I wanna do this style on my hair, I wanna do this to my hair, I wanna do that. Oh my gosh, my ends look horrible, I need... Listen, silence the noise. Sometimes you just need to leave your hair alone. And when do you leave it alone? When it's in a protective style. Just leave it alone for like three months. Just let it sit. It's going to be all right. Just make sure it's moisturized. It's um, that you have conditioned it. Just leave it alone. Let it be and let it grow. When you are stretching your relaxer and you are in the thick of it, less is more. It is not the time to start playing and trying new styles. You have the first two to three months to enjoy your hair, depending on your hair texture. But now it's time for you to sit on down and leave your hair alone in a protective style. Tip number seven. This is like, this is a mental thing. Just be patient. Yes, it's going to take some hours to do your hair. Yeah. And you have two textures and you need to comb out your hair and it's going to take all day and you have to deep condition and sit under the dryer for an hour and it's going to take so long and you have to wash your hair in sections and yes it's going to take a long time but be patient
We've all had that, <laughs> that moment where we're like, oh, I need to wash my hair, I need to do my hair. But you know you're going to have a bad attitude. You know you're going to be raking through that hair, your hair breaking it. Just... Don't, don't do it. That day, that's when you apply oil to your scalp. Just oil your scalp, massage it. Just start where you are. If you get a relaxer every eight weeks and you've never stretched your relaxer, don't try to stretch for six months. Work your way up. Remember, this is new territory. Also, give yourself time to get to know your hair and what products work for you. Give yourself a grace period to learn and not be so hard on yourself. Remember, we're trying to grow your hair, so we need no stress. So remember to relax, relate, and release. Comment down below and let me know what is the longest you've gone stretching your relaxer. Check out these videos next on my wash day routine and my six months post salon visit. You don't want to miss it. Also, if you like this video, make sure you click the like button. Be sure to subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks, loveies, and I'll see you in the next one.